Welcome back to Snowball's OPL Top 5. Let's kick off the plays from the last week. Coming in at number 5, Bapip tries to keep Mammoth alive against the Diables push. However, Biopanther seeks glory and finishes off the Nectars, earning the Wolves their first win. End the game and find themselves the first win of their split. They're getting cut down to Will size, they? though. I don't know, Sion? actually. Can they kill the Sion? Oh, no. He's so big, but is he big enough? Flashing for it. He wants this one, what? but he's going to go zombie mode. It's still not you over. See? I can't believe it, Bryce. And it looks like they're going oh my to God. just barely do it. Look at Babip in his chair. That is the worst way to lose a game. Bio Panther, first win of the split for the Direwolves. He hits a Nexus with his dead body. Sneaking their way into number four, only dances his way around the vision and nets his team a double kill. Uh, as Babbitt starts to clear away, Scuttle Crab, Claire, and only jump in. A little bit of a miss on that one, but he does stick the goo. Here we go, flashing forward. Triple is there as well, and they're going to go bouncing, abducting the Lee Sin. Tagging in his Ayla, perfect on that timing for the Glacial Fissure, and Claire picks the kill back up and goes for the double. Oh, the only tragedy there is that Raze wasn't gifted the kill. Classic kills a Swiper, has to use heal in top lane. He is really suffering for top lane. No matter, means that the Chiefs, they do get the play they're after. Without Swiper there, only comes in clutch. And it just could have been 1% better if Draven got those stats. Flying into the number three spot, Orders Dream and Jake show off their synergy and demonstrate what happens when you do click the lantern. Firewalls from doing this Baron. They've managed to disengage as well, but Udi really wants this kill. He's going to get it. Yep. Oh, he's not. Oh, ho, ho. what a beautiful lantern by Jake. Good communication from Order in the 2v2. They survive. Once again, the game does not actually change too drastically. Coming in at number two, Gravitas try and break open the game in their favor. However, the Chiefs have a brilliant counter engage that net themselves three kills. Goes golden on that stopwatch. Ayla's going to knock back the cow into the tower. First blood goes the way of only looking for Freilis inside that respite, but not for very long. Double kill for the Olaf, and one picked up for Claire on top. And the map hits a boiling point, and just as you would expect, Chiefs with the advantage. They were there for the counter play ready. Vision spots them coming mid, and they get the counter. They get the kills. Now 3-0. to zero. What was 100 gold between these teams is now 2,000. Porting into the number one spot, the Bombers solo laners teleport into Avant's backline and tear them apart, winning the fight and the game. All of a sudden, Avant tagged their way back forward again. Rogue taken very low, but he doesn't get taken down. Ryoma, Mimic into the backline, and they're cutting through the members of Avant. This looks like it is going to be the fight that Bombers needed. It looks for just a second, they may not have it. Mimic here Ooh. does get chunked pretty low. Still going a little indecisive here. Shippy's gonna fall down into the zombie form he goes. And Shock is limping away as one of the last members remaining for his team, while Khan's still chasing him down. And that was such a close team fight. Look at the health bars out of the Avant lineup, but they lose it in the end. Still four members up, and it's only Shock. One Nexus turret remaining. Can he defend? And that's Snowball's OPL top five for week three. We'll see you for week four.